I can't wait to hear what you have to say about my squad. I think they've had a great year. I feel like a proud mama hen whose baby chicks have learned to fly. Interesting analogy, Sergeant. Chickens are famously bad at flying. Yo. Peralta has to be first, which shows how seriously he's begun taking his job. Nope, I just want to get this over with. I know these guys. I know everything about them. Well, you're a poor police officer if you don't think the people can surprise you. Not these people. Here, watch this. I know what everyone's going to do tonight. It's Thursday, so Gina's going to leave early to rehearse with her new dance group, Dancy Reagan. They're the first ladies of movement. Amy's going to be going over her weekly budget. And Charles will be attending a pizza for one cooking class. Tonight's menu, pepper aloni. And if I run and leap at Terry, he will most certainly catch me in his arms. Coming in. No, hold your coffee. Don't worry, fire department is on the job. Hear that, Jeffords? We're going to die in here. We're marked for death. Okay, calm down. I have an idea. When my parents would fight and my dad got scary, I would take my little brother upstairs and to distract him, I'd teach him dance moves. Or kind of dance moves. Mostly 80s hip hop. He loves salt and pepper. No, I won't be doing that. Salt and pepper, you say? Mosey forward, naming lights, butt pop, comb your hair. Now typing motion, pull it back, jump forward, Pelvic pump. You got it! Now all we need to do is run it all together and do it at full speed. I must say, Jeffords, this dancing is quite distracting. I've completely forgotten that we're trapped here in this death box, inspected by Bozo Beverly between clown shows. You know what, sir? I don't think you are thrusting your butt enough before the name and lights. Yes, yes. I felt that. God, I love that note. Whew. Back to the top. I'll count us in. Five, six, seven, eight. Never let them play with the windows. That's parenting one-on-one. And Santiago, I can't believe you didn't stop it. I'm sorry, sir. I knew it was wrong and I did nothing, which is ultimately worse. Cagney can't sleep without Mumu. And if Cagney doesn't sleep, Lacey doesn't sleep. And if Cagney and Lacey don't sleep... Terry doesn't sleep. No, Jake doesn't live. Oh, my God. Where did you start letting them play with the windows? Uh, on 8th. It was close to the house. It better be. The sitter leaves in 10 minutes, and this is the last thing I need. Okay, I'm so sorry about this, Sarge. Oh, and one more thing. I love you. I love you too, Jake. Hey, Sarge. Why did you want us to meet you out here? To thank you guys for the weekend. Really? It was a total disaster. Not a total disaster. None of us got sick from that dog water. You drank that? No. Look, Jake, you were right. I have kind of forgotten how to have fun. I'm going to try to work on that, so... <gasps> the fireworks you made me surrender when we re-entered New York! Uh-huh. Fun Terry's back. We're going to set them off in a big pile all at once. By shooting our guns at them? What? No. No. We're going to set them off like normal people. Oh, that's good, too. Ooh. Here we go. woo See how fun this is? Original Terry would have been worried that we're standing too close and need safety goggles, and he would have been absolutely right. We're way too close for us. So, are you bringing someone to the wedding? No. I'm taking a break from dating for a while. What? I'm sick of asking people how many siblings they have. Oh, is it somewhere between zero and two? How fascinating. But you never know when you're going to find your dream person. Anyone on the street could be that. All right, it feels like you Googled how to talk to your bisexual friends. Yeah. The, the point is, you can close yourself off all you want. The universe will find a way. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Car's here. Hi, I'm here to pick up Rosa. Are you the one I'm looking for? So I took care of Sam. Uh-oh, that sounds ominous. Like you went all Miss Miriam on her. I let him off with a warning. See, the thing about Miss Miriam is she made me a good dancer, but she ruined my childhood. She was constantly writing me about my posture and my technique and my pink hair. Pink hair? Never speak of that. Copy. She's the reason I quit ballet. And I sure as hell don't want Sam to quit the Big Brother program because of me. This is totally how I thought this Miss Miriam thing was going to go. <laughs> Another flawless Terry plan. Also, I've loaded all of my favorite karaoke backing tracks onto my phone. Kevin and I will be duetting Rolling in the Deep. That's it. Emergency squad meeting, briefing room, two minutes. Uh, adult parties? Sergeant, I believe they're called orgies. No look five. I met my wife at an orgy. 
Well, she was leaving an orgy and we bumped into each other on the street. Real meet cute. Thank you for exhibiting exactly why this meeting is necessary. Everyone here needs some instruction on interacting with grown-ups. Sergeant, why am I here? I'm always incredibly appropriate. In high school, I was voted most appropriate. Ooh, self-burn. Those are rare. I shouldn't be here either. I'm fine at parties. I just stand in the middle of the room and don't say anything. Here are the rules. No staring at your phones, no rolling in two hours late, no sweatpants, no jeans, and no shorts. What about dress-up shorts? For instance, the kind Jen Aniston might wear. No, those are still shorts. No shorts. And everyone bring a bottle of wine. Why are there so many rules? I mean, next thing you're gonna say is we can't be late. Yeah, that's like the first thing I said. Ah. Party huddle step. Okay, gang, we need a new strategy. Totally, what is going on out there? We can't tell cop stories, Kevin doesn't find me charming, and a native English speaker referred to Captain Holt is hilarious. I am flummoxed. That's a word I learned for this party, and I am it. Well, I'm doing fine. Really? Raymond, those slacks are a knockout. Do you think he heard that? Only because you yelled it. Shut up. From now on, we play to our strengths. Charles, you know everything about food. That's all you talk about. I mean, I don't think anyone will ever know everything about food. It's an evolving discipline. That's great stuff. It's so boring. Don't waste it. Amy, you studied art history. That's interesting. Scully, opera. Hitchcock, nothing. Talk about nothing. Rosa, stick with Gina. Make sure she doesn't say anything insane or steal anything. Too late. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just like hats and scars and stuff. She will put those back. I will handle the chit chat. Well, that just leaves you, Peralta. What's your cultural specialty? Easy. Kevin mentioned The New Yorker, and I've totally read that. <laughs> Keep a low profile, chuckle at anecdotes, try not to start any conversations. Got it. Wait a minute. You're hitchcocking me? Well, not surprising. We're practically twins. Be appropriate. On three. Quietly. One, two, three. Be, Be appropriate. appropriate. Now break it up. We look weird. Right. Don't move as a group. You're not gazelles. Wow, well, we pulled it off. Nice eulogy. I thought it was dumb. Sergeant? Excuse me? You said there's nothing you can do to bring him back, but you're wrong. None of us are gonna stop fighting until he comes home. Thanks. And if you ever need to talk or get drunk or throw stuff off a roof, I mean, I, I don't know your process. Am I hitting on anything here? The roof thing sounds pretty good. Very well, let's throw something off the roof and then we'll get back to work. High five. I quite like them now. <laughs>